Yeah. So last time we considered families of subsets where this was forbidden. And uh, another trivial, I mean, self clear property <coughs> if we forbid disjoint pairs of subsets. So today I will <coughs> speak mostly about this property. So Yeah, it, this is not the famous erdos Corrado theorem, if you know it, it, it but it, it was in the same paper, that uh, <coughs> if you have, a, uh, I should have intersecting F is an intersecting family, I better write it more clearly, so it's a subfamily of all subsets now, which means that if F and G are in the family, then the intersection is non-empty. And the theorem claims that this cannot be more than 2 to the n minus first power. So this is sharp. If you fix one point and take all subsets containing this point, then it means that you this is this is the this is the same as everyone. So you have subsets from an n minus one element set. All this is the number of n minus one element sets. So you you have uh, this many set in this family. But uh, there is another important construction if uh, you take uh, first n is odd take all the sets which are have size at least this much so if you take two sets of this size then it has, they, they all together, they have m plus one elements, so it, it cannot be placed in an element. And if uh, they are bigger, then even more, it is true that this is intersecting. Uh, yeah, and of course, this has also, uh, because um, two to the n is the total size of uh, all, all sets, and this is exactly half of it. If n is even, then we have to modify this a little bit, so we take everything above n over n half plus one, but this is too little, we take, must take half of, 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 of them of, of on the, in this level, so n half element sets. Then it's obvious that it will be again uh, this size because uh, 
uh, this is half of this level and this is the same as this. So <coughs> we only have to ensure that uh, uh, they are intersecting. So the, the ones from here are always intersecting. If you take an n half element and this one, they are still intersecting. So the only point is that the, these must be intersecting. It's not, not automatic because they have n half elements, both, so they could be disjoint. So here we fix a point and take all all n half element sets containing this fixed point. So it's uh, similar to this case. So all, all n half element sets containing this point. It, it's obvious that uh, this will be, the number will be half of, uh, because it is n minus one choose n half minus one, their number, and I claim that this is one half of n choose n half. Why? In the Pascal triangle, on this level, uh, n minus one, n minus one, n, n half minus one and n half. If you take uh, the sum is n minus one, so they are equal. So these binomial coefficients sitting here are equal and their sum is on the nth level and uh, n half. So this will be n choose n half, right? And uh, so, so it means that um, this, this, is ha this is half of, of this. Yeah, no proof is rather trivial. I, I write it here. Of the inequality. <coughs> if you take any set and it's complement, then they cannot be more, more, both, both cannot be in the family because they are disjoint. So you make pairs, complementing pairs, that will be 2 to the n minus 1, and you can choose only one of each, so you cannot have more. But there, there is an, an inter, yeah, so there are many, many constructions. So for other investigations, it, it, this is good to know and this is also good to know. But there are infinitely non-isomorphic constructions and they have a very interesting uh, property that it's, it's, it's a remark by the, in this paper that if f is intersecting it can be extended so you, you add some uh, other sets you can add sets in such a way that uh, this family has n minus 1 so no matter how you start you add disjoint sets and uh, it, it cannot happen that 
you must be stopped before that number. Usually, th this, this kind of theorems are not true, only in this case. <coughs> yeah, the situation is, I, I arrange things because I need place. <coughs> So situation is very different if we fix the sizes. So we consider only k element subsets. Yeah, I shouldn't have erased this one because this example is important also here. So now F is a subfamily of all k element subsets intersecting then f is less than equal to I deliberately missing one condition. Give me a counterexample. Sorry? K is not zero. What is not zero? K. I, I don't have this is it's a letter? K. 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 No. <laughs> of course it makes no sense. If, uh, so so you cannot cannot have a even the empty set is, is, is not an intersect if you have only the empty set is not an intersecting family because <laughs> but the size does matter yeah so, so this is the condition because if you have big sets so 2k is more than n then you cannot put them disjointly into n elements so, so if you have big set then the rest is too small so other k element sets must intersect it. So if k is more, then the problem is not interesting. You can choose all k element sets. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I suppose you know the name of Erdős. Ko was a Chinese from Sichuan and he was in England in uh, 1938. Rado, this is a Hungarian name, but he grew up in Germany and became a British mathematician, didn't speak any word, any Hungarian word. But what is funny that they did this result in 1938 and uh, they thought that this is, this, is, this is a nice thing that no one is interested in because uh, combinatorics didn't exist at that time. And, and uh, so Sperner started his work in number theory 
and this didn't have a relevance in number theory, so they didn't publish until 1961. Uh, and uh, so now I will give the original proof modified by Peter Frankl. This start uh, with a lemma. No, a definition before the lemma, because I cannot state the lemma. So let x and y elements points in the whole thing and to x y of a set so now k elements set but it, the, de in the definition is not important now is simply delete x and add why? It's not a correct notation, but you understand what I mean. So, uh, so this is uh, F, and then this is X, Y, and you take it out and add <coughs> this one. Of course, you can do this only if x is in f and y is not in f. Now, we apply this transformation for a family. Again, of course, in all this proof, it will be always k element set. Then <coughs> it will consist of kind of two parts. First, we take uh, all So we, we do this with every such set with con which, which contains x and doesn't contain y, except when this set is already there. And then we cannot move it because then it will be doubled. So uh, okay, so, so f is in the family and uh, is not in the family. So we apply this transformation, this trivial looking transformation for every set except every such set except when we would get uh, another uh, member which is already there and uh, oh yeah I, 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 I was uh, yeah what what happens if, if uh, uh, this uh, does not hold so f is if uh, is if either uh, x is not in f or 
y is in f, so when these are not true, or tau x y f is in the family. Yeah, correction, this is, this, this should be script f here, family. So, is, is, is it clear that uh, we keep all sets which do not satisfy these properties? We move the other ones satisfying the property, except when it is already there, then we, we, we cannot move it. And uh, so now this is the lemma. If F is intersecting, <coughs> then tau x y f is also intersecting. I, I think it's, I, I better show the proof by a picture drawing instead of making it formal. So uh, later we will order the elements anyway. So, so this is why I write mm. now. Oh no! So, it, so it's one, two, n. So these are the elements of the set. And uh, and this is uh, yeah. Um, no, I don't need. Uh, do I need? Yeah, it's better to do. Um, okay. <laughs> so so th th this this is useful, but. Here it will be too messy, so I uh, denote only x and y because uh, these will be uh, moving. So, so we 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 do this with with a set like that, which. Contains x, does not contain y. We add this. And otherwise, it, it, we don't do, and if both are there, we don't do anything with them. So, how can it happen that uh, after the transformation, they are disjoined? So, we, we make this transformation with, with the sets. And the two sets are intersecting, but after the transformation, they are not intersecting. So there are two kinds of sets which are moved and which are not moved. So if they are not moved, both that F and G, not moved, then we, which are the, the unmoved members which contain x. So then both of them contain uh, both of them contain x. So it's not a counterexample. It, it, they are they are not disjoint. If f and g both are moved, this can happen only in the case when uh, 
ag again in this case when but then f prime is, is the f minus x plus y g prime is g minus x plus y and then f prime contains now both contain y because the, we moved both of them and and the, the modified members will contain y so the only interesting case so these are trivial only interesting case when one is moved the other is not so so f we have f here is moved so it, it must satisfy these two conditions so x is in f y is not in f and uh, g <coughs> is uh, not i'm oh, sorry what what, what uh, i i didn't write which one so <laughs> f uh, f is moved and g is not so from f we get this uh, f prime which looks like this and g is moved uh, is not moved so uh, there are, there are uh, several ways why it is not moved that uh, if uh, that's not hold so so if uh, y is in okay so uh, when 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 g is either yeah either g con uh, contains y if it contains y then the then the moved family or moved uh, uh, set again contains y and g we didn't move g it still contains y so then uh, contains y or So uh, if if it does not contain f but contains x, so g does not contain y, but g contains x. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. No, no, no. What did I say? Yeah. So, so the first case was when this didn't hold. If this holds, and uh, yeah. So one, one more case <laughs> when. 
So, so what are the possi possible possible cases? Oh, I, it was too bad. So x and y, and so about f. Oh, I just show now g. So uh, g, if if it contains. Or it does not contain x in, in both cases. So when it contains y, then the resulting set, which was w the original one, contains y, and then we, we have this case. So uh, what else can can happen? So, so bo if, if it contains, so this is G, contains both of them, yeah, neither one. Uh, so F does not contain Y, or G, this is G, I'm sorry, sorry, G. G does not contain X and does not contain Y. So this, this is the reason why it, it, it is unmoved. But, but then there is no change. So then, uh, then the intersection of F and F prime, G prime, which is equal to g so so they, they must g must intersect somewhere else if it's not not in x we didn't move uh, this intersection so it's, it it becomes the same and i am sorry to continue here this is the most interesting case when g x is in g y is not in g but we still didn't move why we didn't move it because Because of this here, so so that we, we did move it because it was already there, uh, another uh, other set. G star equals G minus x plus one is in. F. So now this in this picture. So so then both of them contain X, so this is G. Both of them contain X. And uh, do not contain y. So what happened? What what happens with g? We want to do this. So this is g star. That uh, we 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 try to uh, from from g. No, we we try to delete this one and add this one. So. But we cannot do it because G star is, is over there. So now consider F, or the original F, not the F prime, and G, G star. They, they are both in the family. 
So because it must be in the family because uh, this is why we couldn't move G. So G is in the family, and they. So the, the, this swarm, I mean the original F. I erased F already, but so so F. This is F prime. So I, I do it back. So this this is this is F. Again, the intersection of G star and F must to must be somewhere neither in X nor in Y. So the intersection is the same as the intersection of uh, of of uh, before we moved. So G. G and F. So so F clear, yeah. So because th these are not, uh, we 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 made some changes only in X and Y. Otherwise not, and they cannot meet here. So 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 they they have to meet somewhere else. It's. Uh, so, so, so the intersection is the same. If if this is uh, this was not empty, then it cannot be empty either. So this lemma was the crucial idea of of uh, their proof, and this is a, another very nice example of this. I, I call it transformation method that uh, we, we, we make a, 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 a transformation on the family and yes on Monday we, it, we, prove, we show that we is, the transformation is increasing the family. Here it's uh, He is not increasing, but so claim tau x y f is a family of k elements that lemma says this intersecting. And the size is the same. So we have the same number of sets. So we want to take uh, the largest family. It is uh, still possible to, to, to look after uh, among those which uh, have uh, uh, went under this uh, operation, transformation. Now, So now <coughs> it, it becomes important that they are ordered, so they are integers, say, from 1 to n. And so we do on the transformation only from a big one to a, a, a smaller one. And uh, it, it will be always intersecting and uh, same size, key element sets. So we will arrive 
somewhere we will be <laughs> because it can happen that uh, uh, an infinite uh, cycle so we come back and go back and uh, oh do you have a suggestion if, if why it has to be finished after some steps Sorry, sorry. Because I don't hear it and don't understand. It so doesn't move something that were moved uh, before. Let's say it's uh, um, it, it, it's not so clear if you if you it, it, it I, I I have a a a, a much clear much more clear reasoning. So it, it, it's probably true what I, you say, but... Because uh, we always decrease uh, this kind of space for... for yes, but um, still, I, 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 it's, it's, it's not clear that uh, we, we have a, a new family and then you, you move here, this for, to this, what happens? <laughs> so basically, this is the reason that we always go down. But this can be formulated the, f the following way: that uh, if you take uh, no, if you take the sum of the elements. Is now they are integers. So, so for, for every set you take, you add up these numbers. And then you take this for the whole family. Then a transformation will make it smaller. Because x is replaced by a smaller one. Nothing else happens. Yeah, in in some, only in 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 some uh, members. But it must be smaller if we 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 moved anything. And uh, so so this will be. So it's, it's always smaller than we, we must stop because it cannot be negative. Actually, you, you can uh, find a, a better bound, but it doesn't matter. So it will stop. And then what happens? We, we try to apply the transformation and nothing, nothing happens. So when it is stopped this is called shifted family and then what is its property? So, its property is that uh, the transformation is not visible. Uh, this holds. <laughs> uh, we, we should uh, denote it somehow. So, this is. Mm, Hat. So we arrive to a family, and 
it means that tau xy, where y, x is bigger than y, f is equal to f. So, <laughs> but in more details, it means that uh, for every set and every x and y, either they are not elements, but uh, for, for any x and y, f, okay, so this is f minus x plus y, start again. If he, it is in the family, then f minus x plus y is also in the family. So, because otherwise we, we could, could move it. And we, we cannot move because you remember it was already there, then we, we didn't move. So, so we, we know this property, but be careful. You, you, you could uh, misinterpret this property, so it's not unique. So, so th this is a very important, very, very, very heavy property, but it does not uh, determine the family. So, so this one, two, three, four, everything is. Uh, Every pair is there. This, this is shifted because if you try to move, you cannot move. One, one, two, three, yeah, six, okay. But this is also good. Oh, I don't, the f first one, I don't have to. This is also good because uh, what can we move? The, we, we cannot, this, this cannot be x, so we, we take an x and uh, we, we want to move it to a y, then it's already there and we, we cannot do anything else. And uh, there are many in between, many, many uh, shifted families are there. <coughs> And uh, so, so uh, Erdős Corrado used this property to prove it by double induction, K and N. And uh, Peter Frankl found a, a lemma and, 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 a, and a better proof, shorter proof, where only induction on, on N will be used. So. I don't remember the year, but it was much later, of course. Then if uh, F is shifted, intersecting, And F, G, R in F, then F, G,
is not empty. So my picture, it may, so, so we, we know that uh, this is uh, not empty. So we, if we have, uh, yeah, so this is one, two, two K minus one. So they, they have to meet, but the claim is that they have to meet inside of this uh, starting interval. Proof. Indirect way. Suppose that uh, I, I will denote uh, this starting interval by t to write less. Suppose f g r in f, but Of course, I'm speaking about the uh, uh, intersecting shifted family. So, uh, but uh, is empty. So it doesn't satisfy the condition. Then, uh, if we have many such counterexamples. One minimizing no oh, actually no. Uh, yeah, this is this is also good, but I probably we don't need this. Maybe we could speak about the minimum of this. It doesn't matter. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, oh, take take uh, take the minimum of. Not that I correct it later. <coughs> so F and G are intersecting, but not in T. It means that they look something like this. So, I'm oh, sorry, this. So they are disjoint here, but they, they are intersecting somewhere here. And uh, so, Then is not empty, of course, and uh, so it has an element so we we, we have a common element and this this is x. And what, uh, what happens here? Since they have at least one element outside, they can have uh, at most at most k minus one elements inside. So, so all of it can accept this x. And the same is true for G.
So what is covered here is 2k minus 2. So 1 is, is missing. So there is a y which is not in f and not in g. So, okay, I make it. So, so there is a, or oh, maybe not, it's not the first one. It's misleading if I write the first one. So there is one which is here, and this is bigger than this number, this is smaller than equal to this number, so, so, so x, uh, y is smaller than x. And now ap apply the transformation for uh, any of it, any of them. So take x, y, g, tau x, y, g, which is g minus x uh, so then it will look like this and and because it's shifted this is also in the family we we cannot change anything by this uh, shift so it is in the family so and uh, now we found f and this family has a smaller intersection because uh, this is lost and only we moved only g to y so they are not meeting here but they stop meeting here so the size is less than And uh, this is also a, a counterexample because uh, they don't meet inside. Because, yeah, clear, yeah. Of course, uh, in this in such proofs you you have to see that uh, it cannot go down to zero but but uh, it, it's obvious that the intersection cannot be uh, zero outside if they, they don't meet inside because they have k, k elements so this is a contradiction i think this is a hungarian notation for contradiction it's, it's not used in other countries so we, we, we proved the lemma. Uh, let me tell a few words about Peter Frank. He was my student and uh, uh, he started to, he, he, was, he was an excellent student. So, so when he finished his uh, studies uh, in, in June, the five years, you know, that time it was a diploma, it was not bachelor and master, so five years studies. And then finished, in September he defended his uh, title, uh, candidate of Nauk. Na uh, na <laughs> so so it, it, it is a stronger uh, 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 degree than today's PhD, so the more requirements there were. 
and uh, he started to juggle. Um, he was almost taken to the circus in Budapest because uh, he had uh, with a friend some fantastic uh, <laughs> performances. But then uh, he, he went to France and after some years he moved to Japan where he became a TV star. So he, he, is, uh, he is not employed by any university, he is not, he's working at home. And uh, for, for some years he wrote maybe one paper per year, but now he's, uh, it's less funny that an old man is juggling and so he, he returned to mathematics and he's right. I think a lot of papers. Do you know Kupavsky, Andrei Kupavsky? Yeah, so they have many joint papers recently. Yeah, so now I am ready to, oh, I have to, instead of chatting, I have to finish the proof. So now let EI be the number of sets of course for all members of the family picture might be useful, so this is T, so, and the continuation is here, so, so we take, and, and this has I elements here, so we, you, we take all intersections here, and uh, it, not, it not necessarily we, we have all I elements intersections here, only some. And this is the number, how many times we have an I element intersection here. So what we can say, okay, so now the proof is uh, induction on N. wrong. So now T prime <laughs> is one more element. So we, we know that they are intersecting in the first k, 2k minus 1 elements, but it, it is more used. Then of course uh, they, they have an intersection in the bigger uh, uh, interval and uh, proof works with 2k. So, so what are these parts of an F and two such thing must intersect because of the, of the lemma that they are intersecting inside in the first 2K minus one, so that's in the first 2K. So they have, they intersect, they are intersecting so we have here a uh, uh, 2k element set, uh, I write it here, a 2k element set and we choose i element sets in such a way that they are intersecting. So by the induction it cannot be more than this number. Of course, 2k must be uh, uh, smaller than n, yeah. And uh, so now 
the size of f. I, I, I will write the starting point later. So, uh, Uh, so, so w how the, the sets look like? So they have an i element here for, for, for some i, and we can extend this in many ways. So how many ways? We, we have here n minus 2k elements, and we have to add k minus i. In, in principle, they all can be chosen. And now, using this, we, yeah, so, so I cannot be uh, zero, right? Because uh, cannot be zero, it's not important, but no, it cannot be because uh, if, if, if a set is uh, completely here, then it cannot uh, have an intersection with another member inside. So I is from one. And now uh, substitute it Do you know this rule? If not, then it's easy to prove. So we have uh, uh, n minus one element set all together here, two k minus one, and then here n minus two k. So all together is n minus one, and question how many k minus 1 element sets we can choose here. So we choose some, namely i minus 1, it's good that we start from 1, i minus 1 here, and k minus i here, all together is k minus 1, and in all possible ways and uh, independent, so if they are multiplied, and then you get this. So the, the, the proof is almost finished. I, because there is a small error here. Anybody can see it? <laughs> the induction. We have a little gap, sorry? Ah, oh, that's not interesting, it's trivial. K, yeah, so N is, yeah. Uh, I should be, Yeah, I yeah I made here a mistake. It's it's yeah, they are smaller sets, right? It's on K.
So we use this for k also. We want to prove the theorem for k, knowing that it's true for 1, 2, 3, k minus 1. But here we used it for k. So we have to prove, because it's a very special case, the size is important. So AK is smaller than 2K minus 1 over K minus 1. This, this, this is uh, what, what we need to prove. Differently, because we cannot use the induction. And so we have uh, two K elements. 2k elements and this is the number of k element sets so the half sizes from any pair only one can be in the in the this modified family we, 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 you cannot have both so it means that it should be at most one half times 2k over k and it's easy to see that this this is the same thing again the pascal triangle so if, if you take this with k uh, the same and their sum is this so now we, we finish the proof Mm -hmm. So what can I do in six minutes? I start a new proof, a shorter one, but I, I will not finish. So, now order the elements, frame 1, 2, 3, n. So usually this is a set, but now the set means around the table. And uh, we consider inter uh, intervals of length k. And uh, so this is G is an intersecting family of intervals of lengths K. So it's a very similar problem, but it's much easier because it's linear. So we, we can have only at most k, at most n such uh, uh, intervals. And uh, lemma is that the size of G is at most k. So Again, the best case is when you fix one point and take the k element sets, all k elements as containing this point. And it could be, uh, if we go, I, I will speak always about 
moving this direction. So this is, it has the last element, uh, last by of one, and so on, first element, so it, it, it's k, it means k, dot, k uh, pieces. And uh, it is easy to prove because uh, take one, start with one k element set. Already trivial that all other ones should start either in this way or that way, so you cannot have more than 2k. But we claim that it cannot be more than k. Why? Because if you take this set and this set, so they are almost meeting, then they cannot meet here because 2k is less than equal to n. So this, this is why it's important that they are almost meeting here, so they cannot meet here. That, that means that one of them is not in G. So at most one is in G. So we have this one, we have uh, how many such two element intervals? K minus one. And for any, K, any, any such small interval, we have at most one. So that, that is K minus one plus the original one is K. So we, we solved an, an easy problem similar to the uh, erdos Corrado theorem, and, and we'll continue on Friday. So if you are curious, you have to come. <laughs>